right, uh, Michael Chiklis is with us. You may have noticed. Uh, <laughs> Michael, Michael didn't know we were on live, and we're having a little bit of fun, and things are said, and we want to apologize if anybody uh, had a problem I with am that. so sorry. My, no problem. I can hear my wife now. Oh, uh -huh. Like a just idiot. Yes. She's like, how did you screw up before yeah, the interview even Yeah, you didn't even, even get on started. camera yet, and you're <laughs> screwing it up. It usually takes you three, four, five exactly. minutes. Exactly. It's okay, we forgive right. you. Anyway, it's okay. We'll send you the bill. It's great. Uh, very to, good. It's great awesome. to have you here, Michael, as always. Uh, my, Michael won an Emmy for The Shield, as you well know, and so many other shows that he's done that uh, where he's been wonderful. But he's back today playing another tough cop, but a different tough cop on Gotham. He's uh, the new uh, police captain. Here he is learning that it will not be an easy paycheck. Anybody who doesn't want to get shot, raise your hand. Get down! Damn rocket launcher? Welcome to Gotham, Cap. Sir, they're asking for their pants. Read them their rights. Doesn't say squat about pants. Uh, wait, tell them whoever gives up where they got the damn rocket launcher gets to wear pants. The rest can go naked for all I care. Hmm. Oh. Perfect. OK. Uh, <laughs> you're playing this role. What was it in this? Because I'm sure People won't always want you to play Vic Mackey again in everything you do. This is not Vic Mackey, right? No, and it's it's not the commission. It's not any of the cops I played. But it, it, there's obviously a familiarity to it, uh, but it's decidedly different. Barnes is a, a different guy. He's a he's a law and order zealot, so he will not break the law. He I will mean, not he, break the law, but he's going into a murky world yeah, here. Yeah, because he's like yes. a good guy, bad guy. We're not sure. Well, you're not sure, but well, you you'll see as time goes on. Uh, what drives him. There's a lot of reveals coming up in, in future oh. episodes. And uh, the great thing is, is that you really don't know which way he's going. And this guy is tough as nails. He's a hard guy. Um, uh, but there's reasons for it. And it's just, you know, it just felt like a, you know the expression, if the shoe fits? Yeah. It just felt like a, a, a shoe that fit perfectly. I thought the same thing when I found out you were going to be in this. I'm like, what took him so long? Well, yeah, it's sort of, you know, when the opportunity came along, we spoke. I spoke to Bruno Heller. He was talking to me about it. My wife and I sort of looked at each other and went, so Gotham, right? And I read the script, and it was phenomenal opening episode for, for my character where he comes in and sort of changes the culture of, of uh, Gotham and uh, the GCPD immediately. Right. And uh, uh, also there were other things about it that were quite attractive to me, like the fact that there are several old friends of mine in this show. Uh, Donna Logue mm -hmm. and, and I go back all the way back to the first years of the commission. She did a, a, a guest episode and uh, Sean Pertwee and I worked together and um, Richard Kind and I. So there's a lot of old friends. There's a lot of other, it's a real mix of the old and the new. Plus, I'm shooting this in New York City, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm basically Central Park is my backyard, and it's just been awesome. an amazing experience. It's been great. And it, when we watch it, it looks like film. I mean, well, it's the, aesthetically the look, the look, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, is Show it Danny Cannon, right? It's a beautifully shot show yeah. it really is from a production standpoint you can't get any better all i can yeah. hear is straight massachusetts coming out of your mouth right now right now yes well yeah phenomenal. You just, it's like, phenomenal she, she's married to one well you know what it yeah. is uh, i've been spending a lot of time in the east coast ah, and, so and, and it's coming back. out you know i'm a lot of my boston knuckleheads have been hanging out with me and, <laughs> totally. and we get together in these uh these bars in new york they have certain bars in new york that are set boston up for bars. boston uh, bostonians who are out of uh, away from home, that watching sure. the Patriot games. Yeah, I'm sure it's all around a football game. Yeah, right? oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know it yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know yeah, it well. you do. Where are you from? From? Uh, I was born in Lowell, raised in Andover, okay. uh, Mass, and then I went to Boston University. So I mean, I'm a Bostonian. Yeah, really. well, I, I remember you know, seeing you at the beginning of the Patriot Super Bowl stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Die Listen, hard. I've been to all of their Super Bowls. And you know, I don't want to get into this Patriots arrogance thing that happens here. About, yeah. <laughs> what are you, you talking you know, you about? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, I mean. They're kind of awesome. They, they all kind of win. Belichickian when, when this happens. Yeah, listen, I, you know what? Honestly, I think the thing that I most admire about Tom, and Tom Brady and I are friends, yeah. uh, is that, you know, he doesn't talk smack. Right. He won't do that. How, he likes how, to talk on the field, and that's it. And how uh, about a guy who did, w did not have, he wasn't thought of as going to be a great quarterback, and his, maybe the 
two I, or three or one greatest quarterback I th ever. I think those are the things that he's most grateful for, that people underestimated him, because mm -hmm. those are the things that drive him. Hey, you know what? Underestimated. People underestimated yeah. you, because I go back to when you first did your first big stuff here, uh, and and you did a movie that people didn't like you for. Yeah. Not not not. I understand. Whether you were yeah. good or not, they just didn't like uh, the thematic movie. part yeah. of the movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you had to pull yourself back up, and yeah. you really did. Well, there's something about adversity that defines you, right? It, how you respond to it. Uh, you can either wither and fade, or you can stand up and, um, you know. Uh, put your best foot forward and do your best work and let the work speak for itself. Mm -hmm. That's, to me, at the end of the day, and that's, I think, maybe why I relate, I feel a, a point of relation with Tom is that, you know, I don't want to talk smack. I just want the work to, to speak for itself. I mm -hmm. want to go do my best work, and hopefully people will respond to that. And, you know, going back to Gotham, that this is one of those shows that it's a pure entertainment, and people love it. I mean, we just went to the New York Comic Con, Oh yeah. <laughs> like well, Comic Con star. is, you know, yeah, okay. you, you know, it's craziness. Did but, you wear uh, like a cape or something? No, 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 no. Like <laughs> no. Yeah, they would love you for no. a number of reasons. Yeah, yeah there's like, the, yeah, there was a lot to talk about and mm -hmm. a lot of different things that they were into. And but man, uh, the the people in this cast, I think they do a really remarkable job. Like Robin Lord Taylor, you know, playing Penguin. This kid is perfect oh, yeah. in this mm -hmm. role. He's perfect. And He's really way, breaking out way, with it, too. What a sweet kid, too. We've right? met nice. a lot of these yeah. guys Sweetest and gals. Kid. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great cast. It really is. I mm -hmm. mean, and I know that, that that pitch sold in the room, right? I mean, uh -huh. if I'm an executive and you walk in and say, okay, here it is. Uh, a prequel to Batman, only we're going to see it through the eyes of a young James Gordon before he's a commissioner and when he's a detective. Okay. Sold. Uh, okay, because so, now you have hundreds of characters, mm -hmm. thousands of stories, it's tried years and true. of uh, a huge built-in mm -hmm. audience. Here we go. And that's but, not even talking about the look. Right. Believe me, the look is part of the star of the oh, show. Oh my God! Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. It's right. gorgeous. We got to go. You did the whole interview, and you were fine. Yeah, I didn't swear once. Yeah. So, <laughs> honey, I, honey, I we didn't had swear our once. Hand on the button. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, Michael. We do love you. Cheers. It's great to see you. Always. Always. Thank you. you. Thank Mwah. you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Gotham here's Monday nights on Fox. Still to come. What is this about? So, Target shoppers hear shocking audio suddenly over the loudspeakers. We'll tell you what it was and why it was so offensive. And who's next? Ah, oh, Vanessa Lachey. I knew her as Vanessa Manillo back in my MTV days. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa and her husband, Nick, learned a big lesson while well, on date night last week. She's going to tell us about that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> 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 at least we can laugh at ourselves. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.